Hi, my name is Katie. I am an artist here in Tokyo, Japan, and this is a day in my life. Ever since you found me, we're the only thing I see. Forever and a day is you and me. And they can't replicate this unity. No pressure. I can see I'm watching and they try to do better. But you went in a million. Her morning routine literally begins with some music and few moves before starting anything else. As an artist, her routine could vary from day to day depending on the performances or events. However, today is her typical day when she meets her crew, works on the choreography, and goes to a studio to practice for their next dance video. Honestly, I love the way you carry it. It was an easy decision I had to marry it. Honey Moon, I'm gonna put you on a chariot. Excuse me, Katie. Yes. Uh, I was wondering, did you draw this, that painting there? This? Yep. No, this is actually uh, something that a friend of mine drew on my birthday. We had an event. And All I right. forgot it was my birthday. Uh -huh. There was a live painting that someone was doing, and they said they drew me. Who? And um, I am, I believe in spirituality, if that's, if that's how you can put that. Um, but I, when they told me that, I was like, this is for sure, probably, my higher self. That's what I'm going to call it. This, that's who she is. <laughs> this is my higher self. And this space, all of this here, is usually where I take a breather when things are getting too, too much. Like, like a lot of things are happening at once. And no matter how busy I am, I think that's when I find myself most here to take a breather, meditate, and just to calm myself. And she definitely reminds me to slow down sometimes. Katie lives in a share house in Tokyo where you have your own private room but you share other facilities such as the bathroom, kitchen and so on. Often in Japan, renting a house could be really complicated if you are not a Japanese citizen. So if you're planning on moving to Japan and looking to rent a place on your own, share house would be a great option. Plus, you could also meet people from different backgrounds and expand your network in Japan. Maybe let's ask Katie to give us a little tour of her share house. <laughs> And everything is like yes. in the so same amount. It's one pay where I live. It's different for different places, but where I live, it's one pay, and it covers your Wi-Fi, heat, water, and everything else included. So literally, all you have to do is bring clothes because the bed and fridge is included in the room as well. Mm. So it's it's a great starter. <laughs> In Japan, depending on where you live, rules for throwing trash may vary and it is important to know when to throw what kind of trash. Plus, there is a designated garbage bag you need to buy in order to throw trash. It might sound complicated, but you could always ask the owner of the house or visit the nearby city hall for details. Katie was born in Japan. Her dad was in the military and while he was stationed in Japan, he met her mom. However, after that she moved to the US and completed her education until grade 7 in the States and then moved back to Japan. Along with English, she's also fluent in Japanese language, so if you're looking for a bilingual artist in Japan, you might want to contact her. Katie has her dance crew in Tokyo by the name Essence. There are four members in the group, but the fourth member doesn't live in Tokyo, so today just three of them decided to meet up to discuss the upcoming dance video. 
We are here at Yoyogi Park right now, which is just two minutes walk from Harajuku Station. So in case if you're planning to visit Harajuku for shopping and stuff, I would highly recommend you to also visit Yoyogi Park, especially if you're visiting during the springtime because of cherry blossoms, this place is heaven. Anyways, without wasting time, let's go back to them. Sumit was saying. So Katie, what, what, what's up? What you guys doing now? Um, we just, so it's in the morning, we just got together. Uh, we're just gonna chill for a little bit and then head to lunch because they open late. To support herself and her crew, Katie also does other part-time jobs like modeling, teaching, working at Baskin Robbins and so on. She even performed at the opening ceremony of Paralympics Tokyo 2020. Unfortunately, I couldn't film that part because of corona restrictions. I'm sure if you watch one of the videos filmed by the other participants inside the stadium, you might be able to see her dancing there. The studio that they usually practice at is in Shibuya. That is why they came to this restaurant because it is like walking distance from their studio. On top of that, these days in Japan at different restaurants while you're eating indoors, the staff request the customers not to speak while their mask is off because of the corona situation. So I guess this was an ideal place for business and pleasure. Katie, sorry to bother you with the discussion. I was wondering what you guys are talking about right now. Uh, we are talking about our next project or like this is the project that we're working on currently we're making I don't want to call it like a music video but we're coming up with uh, dance videos with an artist from London but uh, right now we're working on location outfits and um, I think we're gonna storyboard one of the videos that we want to do <laughs> Once they're done planning and working on the storyboard for the next dance video, it's time for them to put that into action. There are many rental space options in Shibuya for different purposes. The best thing about choosing Shibuya is that after you're done with whatever business you have, you could go for lunch or dinner here since they have tons of options to choose from or you could just hang out with your friends to absorb the vibrant energy that this place has to offer. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my goddess, yeah she the hottest, that's plain and simple, I bring on out your holy spirit if I bless the temple, I slow it down, speed it up, yeah I switch the tempo, just make sure when you bust it back you pop it like a pimple, I know that's Sorry guys, I just came out of the studio because uh, they're also making content for their own social media, so I thought, you know, uh, just filming everything and uploading on my own YouTube channel wouldn't be appropriate, however, I'll be getting back to them as soon as they are done, so please stay before calling it a day, they wanted to scout some places for their next dance video. Once they found a good place, they did some more practice, some more discussion, and then it was time to just relax and enjoy some bubble tea. She told me that they're gonna hang out in Shibuya for a while before heading back home. But before Katie leaves, let's ask her what would be her advice for people who want to move to Japan and get into entertainment industry. Listen more than you speak when you come to Japan. See how they do things. Observe, maybe like the first year or so, while you put yourself out there on your own platform when doing business with your creative work. Because that's a part of you. Don't forget that your creative work is a part of you. Very important. Well guys, that was Katie's day. Thank you so much for watching this video today. I personally love the part where she mentioned that uh, when she feels like there's so much going on in her life, she stops everything and takes this breather. I feel like we all need that once in a while. Anyways, let me know what was something interesting for you about her day. Do let me know that in the comment section below. Also, in case if you're interested in getting to know more about her, I'll put her Instagram in the description box below for you guys to directly contact her. Plus, please do not forget to like, share, subscribe, and most importantly, smile. Peace. Flip my world upside down. Fresh prince. I've been praying to her presence ever since. She make me wanna worship, 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 worship.